Hi, I'm Russ Falk, Kalamazoo Outdoor Gourmet Grillmaster, and today we're going to be making my favorite pizza. It's a grape and ricotta pizza with thyme, bacon, and honey, real easy and quick to put together. We're going to cook it up in about three minutes in the Artisan Fire pizza oven. We've got some prepared dough here. Our other ingredients include some nice red grapes, fresh thyme, not dried thyme, good quality ricotta cheese, honey, and salt. We've got the bacon going over in the uh, pizza oven. It should be ready in just a minute. I'll go get it. I always like to hand form dough. So you want to get it out nice and thin, about an eighth inch thick is all. But by doing it by hand, instead of using, um, instead of using a rolling pin or even a machine, you get a nice lip around the edge. And that's what I like to see is a nice bready outer exterior to the pizza crust, uh, nice and chewy and delicious. We have 11 ounces of dough nicely formed out here. We're going to put a very thin layer of ricotta cheese on top. And one of the keys to making a good pizza, especially in a nice hot pizza oven, is not to overload the pizza with toppings. We don't want a ton of cheese on here. We don't want a ton of grapes on here. We want to keep it nice and uh, spare, very moderate on the ingredients. The pizza's going to taste a lot better. When you put too much ingredients on, it can get a little soggy in the middle. doesn't want to cook all the way. So we've got our ricotta down, quick drizzle with honey, just a little touch of honey. This is uh, one of my neighbor's gr uh, girl's favorite pizza because of the sweetness factor. We get the grapes down, skin side up, cut side down, and a little fresh thyme going, just the leaves, you want to pick it apart. You can do this before you assemble the pizza, of course. Pick off the leaves, that is. We want a generous amount of time. It's the fresh time that really makes this pizza pop, flavor-wise. That should be pretty good. Next, we want to sprinkle on a little salt, and you want to use real good salt for this. So I've got a nice flaky sea salt here that I can crush with my fingers. You want to put the salt on before you put the bacon on because you do not want to be salting your bacon, which is already a little on the salty side to begin with. So just a little bit of bacon. As I mentioned, this pizza is one of my favorites and it's really because of that herbaceous quality from the thyme and the balance of sweet and savory, meaty and fruity. This pizza is all about contrast. What we have here is a perforated pizza peel and this is an indispensable tool if you like to make a lot of pizzas. The perforations help keep a little less flour on the bottom of the pizza which is real important. You should be able to just Slide it underneath, and we're ready to go over to the oven. All right, we're ready to slide it into the oven. Just a nice, quick, smooth couple of jerks should do it. It's a nice hot oven. We're running about 750 to 800 degrees in here right now. The dough on this is going to start to bubble and rise around the edges in about 30 seconds. We're at about the 30 second mark. We want to take a quick peek at the bottom, make sure we're browning nicely, give it a little spin. It's going to brown more next to the fire than it is away from the fire, so we keep spinning it to keep it all even. All right, it's been a little while. We'll give it another quick spin. Should see some nice color on the back side. Quick check of the bottom. Everything's going well. Our grape and ricotta pizza with thyme, bacon, and honey is good to go. Should be delicious. Like I said, we're looking for chewy on the inside, a little nice crunch on the outside. Looks perfect.